Five common questions about understanding credit cards. Hi there, it's Luigi, and welcome to Catapult Capitalism, your guide in making smart financial moves for your future. If you enjoy watching our videos, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get updated whenever we upload a new video. In today's video, we will share with you the five common questions about credit cards. If you're planning to apply for your first credit card or you're someone who has already been using one but still has limited knowledge about them, then keep on watching. Many people who are afraid of debt also fear credit cards. While credit card debt is a real and frightening thing, it is quite avoidable by understanding credit cards and how they work. To use credit cards safely, you must first understand the credit card rules. You'll be better off using credit cards if you're aware of your spending, stick to your budget, and understand the financial restrictions around credit cards must know terms for understanding credit cards. If you're new to credit cards, you could find yourself perplexed by all the terminology. Here are some of the most common terminology you might come across when applying for a credit card or reading your bill. Annual charge. The annual cost you pay for having a credit card. Companies may offer incentives in which they waive the yearly charge for the first year of using the credit card. Annual Percentage Rate Also known by the abbreviation APR. If you do not pay off your balance in full each month, this is your annual interest rate. Divide this number by 12 to get your monthly interest rate. Balance the entire amount owed on your credit card statement. It covers both the money you spend and any penalties, interest charges, late payments, and so on. Cycle of billing. This is the time it takes to go from one statement to the next. The cycle finishes on the statement date and you receive your credit card statement. Credit limit. Each credit card has a maximum amount that can be charged to it. A credit limit is also known as a credit line or line of credit. Report on credit. This is an overview of your credit history. It contains detailed information that can be distilled into a credit score. Credit score. A three-digit number that summarizes your current and historical financial situation. The higher the number, the better. This enables you to obtain better rates and loans. Credit Utilization Rate Also called CUR. This is the amount of credit you have versus the amount you utilize, shown as percentage. For example, if you spend $500 on a credit card with a credit limit of $2,500, your credit utilization rate will be 20%. To keep a good credit score, your CUR should be less than 30%. The Grace Period The period of time between the end of a billing cycle and when the balance payment is due you will not be charged interest throughout this period. Interest The penalty for not paying off your credit card amount in full. 5 Common Questions About Understanding Credit Cards 1. How much of my outstanding balance should I pay each month? A popular credit card question and myth is that you should keep a balance on your card to improve credit. This is completely false. In fact, you want to do exactly the opposite. If at all feasible, pay your credit card bill in full each month. Carrying a balance forward will cost you interest and thus more money in the long run. Minimum payment will also be noted on your credit card bill. 
This is the bare minimum you must pay, but you should strive to pay off the entire sum each month. You will incur interest charges on your next statement if you only pay the minimum. The more interest you pay, the more debt you have. Essentially, merely making the minimum payment is a quick way to go into debt. You want to pay your bills before the deadline. When you look at your credit card, you'll notice that it has both a statement date and a due date. The last day of your billing cycle is the statement date. To prevent late fees and interest, make your payment by the due date. Typically, you have 21 days to make your payment between these dates. 2. Is it true that checking your credit score lowers it? Another prevalent misconception is that checking your credit score will not lower it. There is a significant distinction between soft and hard queries. When you apply for a new line of credit, you will receive a hard inquiry. This might range from getting a car loan to applying for a new credit card to having a possible landlord examine your credit score. Hard inquiries will decrease your credit score. However, it is just by about 5 points and will take several months to recover. A soft inquiry occurs when you examine your own credit score. This will have no effect on your credit score. Most lenders now provide simple methods for you to check your own credit score. Checking your credit score on a regular basis is an important aspect of being financially prudent. Knowing your credit score is especially crucial if you're striving to improve it or need to apply for a new line of credit soon. 3. What factors should I consider when selecting a credit card? There are so many credit cards on the market that it can be difficult to decide which ones are ideal for you. Consider the following crucial points to assist you. Requirements Those with better credit will be given the best credit cards. You may not be accepted if you have no credit history or a low credit score. Look for ones focused on students or those with bad credit in this scenario. Annual fees. Some credit cards require you to pay an annual charge. Some may waive the first year's annual charge as an incentive. Even if they do this, be sure the price isn't too high for you to pay off over time. The lower the annual interest rate, the better. If you are unable to pay off your credit card balance, you want your interest payments to be as low as possible. Rewards Almost every credit card company provides rewards as an incentive to use the card. Cashback, travel points or miles, and other point systems are examples of this. Determine which benefits are most important to you, and which firm provides the best value. Credit limit. The more your credit limit, the better. Only if you can stay within it. If you keep your spending the same, a greater credit limit can boost your credit use rate. 4. When do I need to use my credit card? There are numerous advantages to using a credit card rather than a debit card or cash. To begin with, credit cards help you build credit. Good credit permits you to obtain loans and other lines of credit that you may require in the future, such as car loans and mortgages. You can also earn rewards with credit cards. If you're going to spend money, you might as well get something in return, right? Fraud protection is another important component of using a credit card. If someone had your debit card, they would have immediate access to your account and the money would be taken directly from your funds. You can challenge the charge with a credit card and the funds will never leave your account. 5. What happens if I spend more than my credit limit? If you try to spend more than your credit limit, your card will usually be denied. 
The Credit Card Act of 2009 is to thank for this. Credit card firms cannot charge you fees for exceeding your credit limit under this law unless you expressly consent to it. You can perform transactions that surpass your limit if you agree to over the limit coverage. This frequently comes with significant fines, especially if you do it more than once. Getting so close to your credit limit also has a negative impact on your credit utilization ratio. So, if at all possible, avoid going close or over. If you keep approaching your credit limit, request an increase. You can also use your debit card until you regain control of your credit card. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for tuning in to Catapult Capitalism. And we'll see you later.